What's up everyone? It's the Ghost from the Ghost Corporation here today and today I'm here with Jordan Prevost. Let it be known, they call me Toad. All right, and uh, what did you do today? Uh, I piloted one of the best Orcas loads. I placed first in the local tournament. Okay, all right. But I heard there was also another first place person there today. Yeah, all right, we tied in the last top, but I, it was Thunder Dragon. I got this, he put it out of ball early and I couldn't get it over time. So if I had more time, I would have won. Time is a thing, so mm -hmm. playing through time, just gotta pick it up. All right, so, yeah. all right, so let's go ahead and get straight into this deck. Before. All right, so uh, for my last profile, it's still basically the same thing. Uh, three heart, best card in the deck. Uh, three nightmare, uh, three bombard. This is standard for my uh, key machine dude plays. Uh, two symbol skeleton. I do not say to play with this card at one because there are moments where like you banish one and you have to get to a certain degree in the game where you have to establish a lot more the second one in the deck or having the ability not to banish the healthy gizmet is kind of like priority people have been saying a lot about that um the round off the rest of the machines i play three um Ooh, wand, orochi and machine forces uh this is my 41st card in my deck i play 41 i do it like 40 um 40 is cool for people but like by 41 i just wanted to have the extra option this is either orchestrated uh crescendo or this is uh machine forces but i like this card because like it helps with like say for instance like um i've had times where i'm stuck with this and i have this in hand and it gets it off very easy or like having this and this in hand and no other outlets to get this out you know make it a lot better so like machine yeah. forces works with synergizing the rest of the machines in the deck yeah there's all the orcas cards i play um these are my you know normal summons uh, three mathematician, no scrap recycler. I, I don't see a uh, point in playing it. I like playing the five. I still fear uh, there can only be one, but I definitely know how to pilot through it. And then just Gruffer and uh, Armageddon Knight to round off those. Pretty standard. Standard build. Um, two Phantasmites. Ooh. And two Crow. I do not play Ash Blossom. I do not play Nimbiria. I've not had a problem going without those cards. Uh, these cards are like uh, things that uh, really help like uh, against the little light orchestra Beauty Crow came and clutch so much and then like Phantasma is just like fucking nuts like period yeah. uh, But we do play the third Phantasma in the side so it doesn't matter Don't worry. Uh, Let's move on to the spells uh, The machine duplication uh, best Ooh, card in the deck okay. This has piloted me through all of my games where like, I needed to extend further where I drew this and I was like All right, how am I about to machine do my opponent now? This card is amazing. Like, I, I will never stop playing this card. That's crazy. Uh, one of uh, Foolish Burial, Orchestrated Babel, and Reinforcements Babel because it's the field spell card. Um, Road is standard and Foolish Burial to get you there. Did you ever banish the Babel by accident? Uh, no, never banished the Babel by accident. Even off of the Gizmac, um, it was crazy. But like, people have purposely banished my Babel and that really yeah. became a problem. Double Super Poly main deck. Uh, I took this idea from uh, the second place winner today, mm -hmm. uh, Willie Newsom. Uh, so uh, he taught me, he told me some things, and I, I took the recommendations of putting the DD Crows Super Polys in the deck, and it really kind of like helped. Super Poly main board like, cool. taught me through so many games. Yeah. Yeah. It's, just, it's just an amazing card. Go ahead and check out that deck profile. Card should be going by soon. Yeah. Two instant fusions, uh, Thousand Eyes are as a card, Wind is a card, amazing. Yeah. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone, this card got me out of so many uh, positions today. Even when I was playing in my, uh, my, my, uh, past game before the event started, uh, Cosmic Cyclone came in the clutch because I got rid of the deck and Yeah. This card just gets through there, it pushes your opponent to have to either play the card or do something. Like, this card is amazing. So, Twin and MST are bad? Uh, no. I definitely slide the three twi uh, Twin Twisters, especially against the Striker deck, to push for more cards to get off the board. Exactly. I don't say any card that isn't uh, a card that gets rid of back row is bad. It definitely helps, you know, push further game states. Cool. Uh, two Return. I don't 
don't like three. Um, that's just me personally because it's a hard one for turn, but the two actually comes around. Um, when I have this, I'm usually driving in the machine dupe. If I don't have this, I set it and I still get to machine dupe. This car is amazing still. Yeah. Um, and then for traps, the impermanence and orchestrated return. Love this card. Never say don't play this card. It's amazing. And obviously, this is just, you know, Galatea. It's like most friend in the exactly. entire world. So. It's amazing. Uh, that's for the deck, 41, solid build. Would not change anything, wouldn't really uh, sub in anything else. Uh, I like this build, I'm gonna take this build to the next regional event. So <laughs> let's go on to the extra deck in the side. Uh, one Mask Arena, this card is amazing. Oh, uh, it's not prismatic. It's not prismatic though. Mm -hmm. I'm not as uh, rent worthy as uh, second place. But this really is amazing. It definitely got me uh, somewhere today because uh, I got the unicorn person for a card. So it makes good plays. Uh, standard Orcus lineup. Uh, my third Galateo is being borrowed still. Um, and then my other Dengar shoe as well. So five. Wouldn't change this. Um, amazing, gotta say. Uh, please don't get banned. Um, one link Karibo for the uh, Bombar and the uh, Thousand Eyes Street. This card is actually really good. It put a lot of work in and keeping my opponent at bay from trying to push her game. So I, I love Link Karibo, wouldn't change it. And Nightmares are Phoenix and Unicorn. Uh, and that rounds off the twos and threes. Sword and Zerboros. I don't play Borload, I don't play Top of Logic, Gumbar, uh, Bomber Dragon. This card won me almost a lot of my games today. I literally picked this in the middle zone. Your opponent can't do anything. True. Especially if they're in face deck. Yeah. Um, that rounds off everything for the extra deck, we'll move on. Uh, except for the fusions. Um, these are just the instant fusion targets and then my super poly target that I main board. Yeah. Uh, now onto the side. Again, yeah, as I stated earlier, third Phantasme. Uh, two Lancia, this car put in work today. Uh, it got me to the point where I could beat my opponent, and, well, at least saw my opponent out for compensating for first place Thunder Dragon deck. Um, but it was good. Yeah. So you call that a grave. This car uh, won me the game against uh, the Princess player that I played today and uh, stop the uh, or the Orcus um, in my deck. Pretty well him. Pretty cool. Yeah. Three Twin Twister would oh, not okay. change this. Uh, it came up so much where I needed it. So. Twin Twister gets you there. Hey, do you have the charger for that joint? Double my control. My control is a uh, didn't get played today, but if I ever needed it to, I definitely would need to push for like taking control of my opponent. Uh, third super poly, uh, you know, super poly. Yeah. Double evenly. This card didn't come up today, but I was looking for it, but like, it, it's still a good card. I would not trade it out for anything. Uh, and then the uh, super poly target, so I'm Okay. But yeah, I went undefeated. Uh, I played against, what is it, uh, round one, I played against the Lunar Light Orcus deck, beat that. Uh, then I played uh, Marincess, then I played some Blue Eyes OTK, then I played Salaman Grey, and then I played uh, Thunder Dragon. Yeah. Okay, pretty good, pretty good lineup. All right, uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and consider hitting that subscribe button and tapping the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Uh, don't forget, we also still have the giveaway going on for the how to take a shower mat. If you wanna know how to enter that giveaway, go ahead and click the card that should be coming by just now. And also there should be a link to it in the description below. Go to timestamp 2852 and it will tell you how to enter that giveaway. Uh, thank you for watching again, and this has been the Ghost from the Ghost Corporation coming at you with a undefeated first place, although tied, Orcus Deprofile. Thank you for watching.